Sarah Newberger here. It is Tuesday, August the 2nd. So that means the countdown is officially on. We have exactly four days until the first ever Elaine Harris ALS Walkathon. I just have to show you this right here. Bam! Look at all this. Look at this. This is some of the door prizes that a good friend of my mom's got for uh, the fundraiser. There is this girl that used to work with my mom and um, she's the girl that I keep talking about. She's the one that uh, immediately wanted to help out with this fundraiser and immediately said that she would go around and get door prizes. And so she's the lady I've been talking to about this and she just came over and dropped off all of this. All the door prizes. Well, okay, not all of them. She's still waiting on some. I am so happy. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. She, oh, that just kind of reminds me. She said that these need um, to be watered because they haven't been watered today. This, I guess, is fake. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> so I don't need to water that. But then we got this water bottle here and this adorable little doll. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. And then I have no idea what this is. Soap. That's what this is. This is soap. It, it, it smells really good too. So we got a couple hats here for the guys and then we got a dartboard. Um, we got a pocket knife here. And so we got some things for guys. Cause she, she said that she had been getting so much for girls like the flowers and the uh, perfume and, or the soap and everything and the doll. And um, so the next place she went to, she's like, please can I have something for a guy? <laughs> and um, she even did me a favor and wrote down um, what each person gave. Um, and so I thought that was really nice of her. And she is also going to uh, write up uh, the thank you notes for everybody as well. And so she is, she rocks. <laughs> I don't know if she wants me to say her name on the internet, so I'm not going to. If you are watching this video, you know who you are and thank you. <laughs> um, you have definitely really helped out. Um, so yeah, I am very happy about how things are progressing. We got four days left, so it better be progressing pretty good. So I actually had this idea that I wanted to film a little clip every day of this week leading up to the big day. And then I would edit it every day. And that way on Friday evening, I could put it all together and then upload it um, really quick. That way, you guys would have a video right before the day of the event and I have no idea when I'm going to upload the next video, the actual um, fundraiser, um, because I want it to be good, I want it to be special, and I want it to, um, I, want it, I want to take my time with it. And so, uh, I have no idea what to expect, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but um, like I said, I filmed a little clip yesterday thinking I could do every day, but the clip I filmed yesterday I did not like. And so it's basically me telling you this, that you know the, um, we got four days left and blah, 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 blah. But last Saturday, it was one week until the fundraiser. And so I was making a big deal about it saying, oh my goodness, this is the day, one week from today, the fundraiser is gonna be happening. And so Luke and I had an idea that we would take our daughter swimming because it was hot and we had nothing else to do. And so we thought, well, why not? So we took her to the swimming pool and when we were heading back to the truck after we were done swimming, this happened. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. That's the picture that I posted on Facebook the very next day. I There was a curb there. I missed the curb. I don't know if I just didn't see it or didn't know it was there. I don't know what happened, but I missed it. And I had Natalie in this um, arm right here. And I stepped with my left foot and I missed it. And I uh, landed on my side. Natalie was okay. She did not get hurt at all, thank God. Um, she didn't get one scrape on her, but I was bleeding. Yeah, so I scraped up my knee pretty bad. It was bleeding really bad. Um, lifeguards were coming out. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I didn't realize that I really wasn't okay, but it didn't 
hurt immediately. Like, of course, I was, you know, more scared and shocked than anything else, and I was bleeding, and so I had uh, burns, and it was stinging and all that stuff. But my foot did not hurt that bad. It was a little sore, and so I was favoring it a little bit. I was walking on my right side. But it really didn't start hurting until I got Natalie in bed that night. Um, it was around 8 o'clock or 8.30 or something like that. I got Natalie asleep, and I was sitting on my foot. Why? I don't know. I mean, whenever I sit down, I sit on my legs. I sit on my feet, and that's just what's comfortable to me. And it wasn't hurting at that time. It was hurting a little bit, but not enough for me to really worry about it. And then after I um, got up, that's when I noticed how bad it was hurting. And then I started walking on it. It was hurting even worse. I was able to walk on it for a little bit longer after that. And then I sat down because it was really hurting. And then that's when it really, really, really started to hurt. I couldn't walk on it after that. I. It hurt so bad, I was actually crying. I was in tears. And it's been a long time since I've been hurt that bad to where I was crying. So Luke was at um, the store getting some stuff and I called him and I'm like, please get home quick. I can't walk on my foot and I don't want Natalie to wake up and need my attention. And so he got home. He had some K tape that he uh, taped up my leg with, or not my leg, my foot with and I was so scared to let him touch it I was like crying whenever he was taping it up I was seriously so in so much pain and after that I had him carry me to bed because I couldn't walk so he carried me to bed he put ice on it he elevated my leg up and it just progressively got worse and worse and worse and worse and I don't know I seriously don't know what was happening. Um, I don't know what happened, if it was just a sprained ankle, but either way, I was in so much pain that day. I called um, my preacher, Mike, that night before Luke even got home, and I'm like, yeah, I fell, I twisted my ankle, I know this is one week before the walkathon. I was hoping to announce to my church one more time that the walkathon was this Saturday. Please come if you want. And so he's, he offered that he would announce it for me. And that night was the worst night as far as the pain of my ankle. Um, the next morning it was still, I was still in pain. I still couldn't walk on it very well. But by uh, Sunday evening, I was doing a lot better, a lot better. Monday morning, I was pretty much all better. <laughs> it still hurt a little bit, but not that bad. And now, I mean, you see me, I'm flopping around. Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all anymore. Okay, maybe a tad bit, but not enough for me to cry. <laughs> um, yesterday, I wanted to mention this. Yesterday, I sent a package to my Uncle Phil and my Aunt Christy, uh, two t-shirts and um, the bracelets, <laughs> and uh, just thank them for being so supportive, because they have. They've been really supportive through all of this. My Aunt Alice is going to be here on Friday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And so she'll be here all, most of the afternoon and evening. And I am so excited about that. And so yeah, things are coming together. Things are happening. And I am very excited about that. I guess that's it. <laughs> I am going to stop talking now. Um, so yeah, this is it for the Tuesday video. Um, tomorrow I will have a Monday video. Alright, bye. Check out our Harley Davidson poster board. <laughs> this is Erica Newberger in the house. <laughs> in the house. Welcome to my house. <laughs> I have asked her to help me out with the signs because for those of you who don't know, <laughs> she is actually a really good artist. I think it runs in your family though, doesn't it? It must. Because I know your dad is good, your brother's good. I don't know if I'd call this great artisticness going on right now. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. <laughs> the first annual Elaine Harris ALS Walkathon. And there's a lot of black. <laughs> there is a lot of black. Okay. People, will People will be there and they're not going to look at the sign. They're going to be like. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, wow. People did this for free. 
<laughs> and we could sure oh, tell. No, I'm kidding. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, I really appreciate you doing this. This is really good, actually. <laughs> Oh, I am very excited about it. This takes me back to your wedding days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we hit the wedding jackpot, or so we said, when we were getting flowers for the wedding. And the um, people that we were getting the flowers from, they had an October wedding, and that was of course, orange and, you know, fall colors. So we had to spray paint all the flowers. <laughs> so, inside. Inside. So we were in our small little apartment <laughs> with the door shut. <laughs> the window shut. No, we had the windows open probably. But yeah, we were in our little kitchen on the floor with um, ma uh, newspapers. Yeah, newspapers, magazines, or whatever. And we were just spraying away. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were really happy that night. <laughs> they turned out really good though. They did, yes. For everyone who was at my wedding, you know. <laughs> and so I knew that there was only one person that I was gonna ask you <laughs> to help out with this. <laughs> and this is not good thing your wedding flowers didn't turn out black. Like this sign. <laughs> <laughs> Black wedding flowers. I have never seen that before. That would be funny. <laughs> anyway, we got three days left. Three days. I am nervous and excited and terrified. And I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But that looks it's pretty. Crooked. It's crooked. Oh my gosh, Erica. Everybody's going to know that too. Yup, baby! Oh well, that'll be okay, right? Oh yeah, I like it. Are you gonna leave it there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Luke, I actually, I just want to see it. Luke can walk in and see that. Man, the letters are bigger on the right than they are on the left. On the walkathon. I'll have to fix that up a little bit. Oh, well, I didn't notice. Nobody else would either. Oh good, then I won't fix it. Oh, well, I didn't say- no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so now they just had a bath, and so she'll be going to bed soon. You've been helping Aunt Erica, haven't you? Yes. Have you been helping Erica? And so has the puppy. So is Trixie. Yeah. Um, okay, anyway. what else do we need? You did good, Erica. Thank you. It was, it's been my pleasure. Oh, thank you. Natalie's got a shoe to try on. And... This is the finishing touch. I told her that the ALS colors were actually red, and she did not know that. And so now it's red, as red as it could be. And she just did this in like, what, a minute? It took a minute for her to do this part. <laughs> I'm complaining, Erica. It's real special. <laughs> it's real so. fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So I really hope that people actually do bring names and pictures so we can put on here. Maybe we can start off by putting a picture of mom on here. I don't know. Yeah, you should. Absolutely. I'm excited. We're one step closer. We have the gifts. We have the t-shirts. We have the signs ready. It's getting closer. It's getting closer, baby. It's getting closer. Chanel was like, okay. What do you you mean? know you're excited. Hello, everyone. I'm going to try not to talk too loud because my baby's asleep, finally, and I do not want to wake her up. Um, so it is Thursday, 3 o'clock, and we got two days left. <laughs> two days until the fundraiser. My Aunt Alice is flying in from Phoenix tomorrow. She will be here around three or four tomorrow afternoon. And um, today's been a trying day for me. It's been a very hard day. I don't know if it's just me or Natalie being extra difficult, but I think it was. it's probably me <laughs> because I have just been really stressed out and I've had anxiety all day and I just feel like I can't catch my breath and um, I've been calling people, talking with people all morning and 
Natalie has been a handful. <laughs> she's been, I think she's just been picking off, picking up my mood and uh, she's just been demanding more attention. She's been fussy. She's been getting into everything, running around everywhere and reaching to the counter and grabbing everything that she can and throwing stuff in the trash that shouldn't be in the trash. <laughs> She's just been a handful, and so I finally have her down. It's a little late in the afternoon, but I don't care right now. I just need a break. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's just there's been stuff to come up with the fundraiser, like with every other organization out there. Nothing ever runs smoothly, and so there's been some issues we've had to work out. Uh, <sighs> one of them being the softball tournament that decided to schedule two weeks ago at the same park the same weekend as my fundraiser that's been a little frustrating I don't know if that was intentional if these people just didn't know or I don't really know the details or why this happened but it happened so we just need to go with the flow <laughs> anyway regardless we are going to have a very, very busy park <laughs> this weekend. It's going to be fun. I am not going to be stressed out about it. Um, there's... I'm getting nervous thinking about it right now. So yeah, I have my coffee. <laughs> I gotta have my coffee. My coffee is my stress relief. And of course, my daily vloggers call into Katie right there I these people just make me happy <laughs> I like watching their daily lives you know that's what they are they are people who film their lives every day and they make an amazing video amazing professional video every day and load it on YouTube for people like me to watch them every day and so they are very inspiring and there's two more families I watch the Daily Bumps, and of course Ellie and Jared. Ellie and Jared are the ones that I watched. I found Ellie and Jared first, and I found them right after we found out that mom was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. And that was a couple months before I had Natalie. They inspired me and helped me through those hard times, I guess. They just make me happy, and that's why I'm watching them right now with my coffee. <laughs> I guess that's all for now. <laughs> Two days left. I will have more tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day I'll be filming and I will edit this video and hopefully I will have a video of this entire week on YouTube tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I can't believe it. What happened to two months? Two months turned into two days. Okay, we'll get it. This will happen. All right, bye. Hi everyone, guess who's here? It's hey, my Alice! <laughs> she flew in from Phoenix today. She uh, landed around, what, one o'clock this afternoon? Yeah. Yeah, and we have been swimming all afternoon in her swimming pool at the hotel room. And it was so fun, that's why her hair is wet. And we just ate some Taco Bell. And it is almost nine o'clock, and I am about to get this little baby in bed. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> she loves the camera. Because we have a big day tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. I don't even know if I'm filming you. Am I filming you? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying hi? Yeah, she's not camera shy. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. I thought she was camera shy. She loves the camera. <laughs> she, She's a little wobbly. She is very tired right now. So I told everyone I'm not going to film that much. I just wanted to give one last video because this is Friday, August the 5th, which means tomorrow is the big day. <laughs> It has actually gotten here. We have everything. We just went to Walmart. Well, we didn't just. We went to Walmart earlier and got the last minute things that we're going to need. And I'm sure we forgot something. <laughs> but um, hopefully it will turn out okay. And I'm nervous. <laughs>
but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. It's gonna not even gonna be in the 80s tomorrow. It's not even gonna. It's gonna be like what 76 tomorrow for the high, and so. You're not in Phoenix anymore. <laughs> not in Phoenix anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little disappointed about that. I don't think the ice bucket challenges are gonna be a big hit. <laughs> but we'll see. We're still gonna do it, right? Yes. Yes. And Luke's going to do it because I'm gonna make him. <laughs> and anyway, so we're gonna have a good day. Um but anyway, so this is the last clip and I guess the next time you will see a video will be after the event. <laughs> so think about us tomorrow. I am actually going to try to go live on Facebook tomorrow. I didn't tell anyone that. Oh, yeah. Nice. So for everyone who's watching this, keep an eye out for that. I'm probably going to do it around 10 or 11 or something like that when things get rolling. So if you're on Facebook and you have me on there, make sure you follow me. All right. I will see you later. Say bye, Luke. You didn't even get me on video. <laughs> oh, hey, Luke. Hey. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say, like seriously, about the event tomorrow? <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> I hope tomorrow is a good turn. <laughs> okay, okay. This is like the ending blooper. Okay. I hope tomorrow we have a good turnout. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the people there should enjoy it. And I swear he's not reading a cue card. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're reading something. There's going to be the ice bucket challenge, which I will do. Anyway, I think we're going to have a good time tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have a good turnout. Because this is for a fantastic cause. And if you're watching this video, then you... Goodbye. <laughs> Then goodbye. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to figure something out. Yeah, I'll figure something out. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it for now. We have an, we have to get up really early tomorrow, and hopefully, um, we're not gonna be t dog tired all day. Wow, I'm like really zoomed in right now. <laughs> anyway, whatever, I don't care. Okay, so one more thing we have to do before we do the end the clip. We have to scream. <laughs> Okay, that's it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.